Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. You know, a while back, I did a video on how to add some bling to your baits and how to put a teaser in front of something like a crankbait or a swim bait with a simple trick of just taking a small willow blade, putting it on a swivel, putting in some bobber stops, and therefore you have some flash being created by the, the blade as you're reeling it, that's spinning, and it looks like your crankbait is following the blade. And it, what that does is it creates some flash, creates some extra vibration, brings more attention to your bait, and therefore it's a good way in some situations to generate more strikes. Well, I did that video and I got a lot of feedback from viewers and several of them said, hey Matt, you gotta check out this bait if you like that little teaser trick. So that's what I did. I went, I looked it up, I said, this is pretty cool looking. I gotta order some. So I ordered some. I haven't gotten around to using it or reviewing it yet, but that's what we're gonna do today is a little bit of a review. I'm gonna put it in the water behind a couple other baits, kinda see what it looks like, show you guys, and give you my first initial impressions before I show you what the bait is though, I do want to remind you, if you're looking for a little bit of help on your local lakes, check out the lake breakdowns that I do for fishthemoment.com. The link to that is in the description of the video. Also guys, if you want to support the channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. That's also in the description of the video. That's a great way to support the channel and very much appreciated. And as far as I know, you can still get this product at Tackle Warehouse. Uh, at least that's where I got it several months ago. And specifically, what it is, is it's the Cat 3 Tackle 2-inch 3-blade teaser with the willow leaves. This is it, guys. It is basically a propeller that spins as you're reeling this through the water with all three little willow leaves hanging off. And what you do is you slide this you slide your line through it, tie a swivel on, and then tie your bait behind it a little bit. And then you reel it in the water, and this is supposed to spin and flash and draw attention to your bait, which is basically doing what this little teaser does. So I wanna put this on. I've got a couple of baits I wanna try this in front of, show you what it looks like in the water. I'm gonna try it with a little square bill. I'm gonna try it with a swim bait. I'm gonna try it with a spinner bait. And we're gonna see what we can do. From you know a setup standpoint, it's pretty easy. You just put a, a bobber stop on your line, mount the blade or run the line through the center, and then just put your swivel and tie the bait on. So I'm gonna do that. Let's go see what it looks like in the water. Okay, so we've got it rigged up. You can see here we got the bobber stop, our blades with our swivel, and then I've got about 10 inches of line to my crankbait. Now, the back of the package does say a little bit as to how to rig it, but it doesn't say how long of a leader to use. So I think that's up to the angler to uh, come up with it. And it probably varies based on presentation. But let's see what this looks like. I have not looked at it in the water yet. That's pretty cool, guys. I hope you can see that. That thing is just spinning right away. I hope you can see that. It is just rotating like a helicopter, a nice slow swirl and those blades are going. The crankbait is just grinding on the bottom. That is very cool. Not really what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be a fast spin, but it's a slow spin, which I like even better. Hmm. Hopefully you can see that. Very cool, like I totally could see that working. It is loud and brash. So I, I would be concerned that you might get a lot of bites on this guy in itself versus the bait. But if you're looking at drawing attention, it is a really good way to do it. Now, I also don't know what the right length would be to use. I mean, I could see, I mean, it looks like a bait ball. It looks, it looks like my crankbait is chasing that little group of, of shad. Uh, let me rig up the spinner bait and the swim bait and show you what that looks like. Okay, I've got a swim bait attached below it again. Let's see how that runs. Golly, I mean, it looks so good. It like that rotating of the blades gives the bait 
a whole different presentation. It also moves the line a little bit, not a whole lot. So it really spins freely on the line itself. Doesn't really affect the bait performance at all. I mean, in this case, this is really shallow. So my, my swim bait is pounding the bottom just like the crankbait was. Whew. My mind is... my. <laughs> This is so unique. My mind is really kind of blown pretty good on it. I, I, I feel like there's a ton of applications for this. Um, I could totally see like in the fall, I don't know about throwing a jerk bait, but the swim bait, like if you're trying to mimic that whole Alabama rig type presentation, this gives off that same sort of vibe. So one thing I would say is you may want to check with your tournament. If you're fishing tournaments, you may want to check if it's even legal. You know, in some of the tournaments I fish, there are some uh, stipulations as to what we can use, and I'm not even sure if this would be legal. Now, it doesn't have a hook, so I would think it would be, but I would check with your tournament director to find out. Okay, so I've got here the spinner bait, good old Bassman spinner bait. Let's see what this looks like. And that looks good too. I mean. I don't, guys, I don't know. I'm, I want to know what you guys think. Have you used something like this? Have you thrown this bait? This, I think, is my favorite so far. It's just like double flash. I would be curious to know if fish, if people are using it, if they're having issues where the fish are biting the teaser or not. But I can tell you this. It is potentially the best looking school of minnows I've seen. That rotating look just creates it as one big flash ball. Almost like, you know, in a school of shad, the shad are swimming in and amongst each other. They're continuously moving, and that's that's the sense I get on this. Really cool looking. I want to know from you guys what your thoughts are. What applications would you use it in? And do if you do use it, how well does it work? Because the, the individuals that recommended it to me really swore by it. I'm going to probably have to take this out and fish with it one day uh you know here in the near future and do a video with just that because i was not expecting to be as impressed by it as i am now again to clarify i haven't fished with it so i don't know if it catches fish but i can tell you this it is cool looking and i would expect it to catch fish i really would i don't see how it would necessarily hurt especially if you're fishing current or dirtier water or off-colored water like i've got here where that little bit of flash helps or specifically like a shad spawn deal or in the fall when the fish are just 100% gorging on shad. Guys, I'm, I think you might want to check it out. It's the Cat 3 Willow 2 inch teaser, I think is what they called it. I'll put the link in the description. This is, it is neat. This is totally different than anything I've ever used before. And I'm impressed. First, first opinion, I'm impressed. Does it catch fish? That's the question.